Hi Forrester fans, I'm Peyton Tabor. I'm a junior here at the college and I do the coach show with Coach Cat where we sit down and talk about last week's game and the upcoming one. Last week was the bye week so we're going to cover that a little bit and then we're going to talk about this week's game against Cornell which is also our homecoming game. Here it is. Hi coach, coming off the bye week do you think your guys felt rejuvenated and refocused as you head into this weekend's game against Cornell? Yeah I mean we definitely took some time off um, it took a lighter, more mental approach to practice last week to get their bodies back and recovered, so hopefully they do. Um, you know, we're, we're three games into the season, but we're really halfway through the season because we take the, the preseason camp. Um, so I think this was a good time for us to have the bye week. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to go. We had a good couple days of practice already this week, so hopefully we are, are going to carry that through the rest of the week. That's awesome. That's great to hear. Um, you know bye weeks are a time to kind of freshen up your team, and you mentioned that last week that you wanted to make sure – you come out of it healthier than you went into it. Have you seen that in your practices this week as you prep for Cornell? Yeah, we definitely have probably about six more bodies uh, this week in practice than we did a week ago. And I think by uh, the end of Wednesday, we'll have two or three more. So I'm, I'm definitely excited about that. Um, we're very conscious of our guys. We didn't really bang or anything like that last week during the bye week um, and let some of our young guys take some additional reps just so they could get re, you know kind of refreshed with the playbook. You know, they've been on scout team the last couple of weeks. and. This gave them a chance to run our stuff instead of running the opponent's stuff. Last week you talked about tightening up the passing game and working on timing on offense. Do you feel like you accomplished your goals in all three phases of the game last, last week? Yeah, I, I think our, our passing game definitely, uh, the quick game and the RPOs really got stronger over the break. I think that that was something that Trey just needed more time with our wide receivers to spend doing that. Um, so I think last week that really picked up. Um, I think that on the... Uh, the deeper play action passes and stuff like that, we're still trying to hit our stride on that timing. But I think that, you know, that just takes continued reps and continued chemistry between quarterback and receiver. And the more we can put out there for them, they'll have a chance to do it. Mm -hmm. Now I kind of want to pivot a little bit and talk about Cornell this weekend. So I know Coach Piper is relatively new. This is his first fall football season as head coach. Is there anything that you've seen on tape so far that kind of gives you an idea of the program he's trying to build and what type of football they want to play? Yeah, they're playing tough football. Um, they, they do some stuff in the run game um, that I'm kind of jealous of. It reminds me of playing in high, you know, high school and college where they get two backs in the backfield and they get under center and they really just run right at you. Um, I, I think there's a toughness element to, that goes with that type of football that they're trying to instill. Uh, they're a very energetic, emotional football team. You can see it on the sidelines that they're, they're into it. They're encouraging each other. They're you know um, doing a lot of really good things on offense that way. They use the tight end just like we do, so that's something that's uh, you know important to us. Their leading receiver is their tight end, and so we've got to kind of be aware of him. And then on defense, they run a three-four that really blitzes from all over the place, and they take a lot of different angles. And so um, I, I think that those two things really tell me that they're going to be an aggressive football team. And so we've got to be prepared for that both in the way that they play, but maybe also in the way that they call plays. You know that they're going to risk a blitz here, and you know we might be a little risky in coverage, but we're going to try to get there and, and get to you instead of letting you have time to pat the ball and you know throw it deep. So I think that we have to be prepared for that, but I think that that's a, a great element. It's something that's very similar to what we were when we started our program as I took over as a head coach. You know, we were blitzing all over the place and, and running the football, and that's who we want to be known as, and it served us pretty well over the last 14 years. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, you mentioned it a little bit, but what are so what are your concerns going into this game, and what do you think are the keys to getting a victory? Yeah, you know, the first three games, we the, the three defenses we faced on offense were very similar. They were four-man fronts. They ran a lot of cover three. Um, so we were we kind of knew what we were getting going in. Against Cornell, that won't be the same. There, there's going to be a lot of different blocking angles um, in the run game. There's going to be a lot of um, sight adjustments that are going to have to be made by our receivers as well as our quarterback where they're going to have to change after the ball is snapped. And that's something we haven't had to do the last couple of weeks. So that'll be a, a challenge. I'm kind of glad we had two weeks to work on that. So that's been, been helpful. Um, defensively, you know, we've, we haven't seen this type of run game. It's very different. You know, coming off a triple option game against Knox last week, this is going to be a more NFL style, you know, two back tight end look that we, we don't see very often in college football anymore. And I think that that'll be a little bit of a challenge for our guys, but they responded really well last week against Knox. So I assume that they'll, they'll, they'll kind of do that again on Saturday. Um, and then we just have to be aware of that tight end. They move them all over the place. Um, he's really talented. And they use them a lot of different ways. So we just got to be aware of where he's he is all the time. And then, uh, you know, what's really kind of fun for me is their special teams are different. They do some different things that we haven't seen before. Um, they're, again, willing to take aggressive risks there, you know, calculated risks, 
And I think that for us, we just have to be prepared for that as we kind of go against them. Yeah. Well, that's actually all I had for you today, Coach. So that kind of wraps up our show. Best of luck against Cornell this weekend. And I look forward to talking next week after another Forrester victory. Great. Thanks so much. Go Foresters.